Hey everyone, uh, so this week I read an article that was sent to me on Twitter about um, why Marvel is better than DC and um, how the characters are much more relatable um, for Marvel than DC and uh, the DC could learn a thing or two if they just followed what Marvel do, etc, etc. And um, I think the person who tweeted it to me did it in... Um, did it with good intentions, thinking that um, I'd probably see the point of this very decorated journalist. Um, but in actual fact, I couldn't have disagreed more. Um, and maybe that strikes people as a bit strange, but I wanted to explain or talk about that today. I wanted to talk about why I have issues with people um, firstly arguing Marvel versus DC. I just think that's so stupid. Um, and I also have issues when people um, say that a company has more relatable characters and therefore, you know, they win the argument at the end. Um, I just think that's a really, really stupid argument. Um, and yeah, I have, I mean, let's just go into it. So I guess the first part of this is the whole, as I said, Marvel versus DC war that goes on online. And um, I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time just talking about this part because really I want to talk about relatability to characters for the most part. So I, I, I won't spend a lot of time on this, but I will just say that you can like what you like and you can dislike what you want to dislike in complete isolation of each other. So you don't need to dislike something that DC produce and say, oh, I dislike it because Marvel could have done it better or Marvel do it better and vice versa, right? Like my bone of contention with this whole stupid war that goes on is that yes, both are comic companies. Yes, both produce very similar types of products, right? With different characters. We all know that, but they're not there as a basis of comparison and, and look, I guess people will always do that. But I think when we start to look at the comic industry as a whole and just understand how lucky we are to have all of these comic companies that are willing to offer us so much diversity and so much um, so much choice and you know and and just the range of comics that we have I think we ought to consider ourselves a little lucky and you can like what you like as I said I definitely have a preference for DC books because uh, when I first started reading comics, I uh, really liked the character Batman. So the, they're the comics that I picked up to start with. And I guess my um, comic journey sort of just expanded based on that universe. And I do read Marvel as well, but I don't read as much Marvel. And that's not because I think one is better than the other, but it's because I have more experience with one over the other. And I'm pretty open about that. But I definitely um, have issues when I see fanboys and people just talking about, um, you know, that um, Marvel movies suck because, you know, DC are darker and edgier and, you know, Marvel's kitty. And when I see people bagging Batman versus Superman because Marvel do it so much better and they don't um, jam pack the movies with as much, um, you know, world building for the next movie. Like, you can argue pro and con for each, but I just don't think it's necessary. Like, just put some thought into your arguments and if you don't like something just articulate why you don't like it don't just palm it off and blame the other business for that um it's basically that's basically all I got to say about that so the relatability part is the thing that really gets to me and here's why so you can say that uh, you know x company does characters that are more relatable and therefore they're a better company but they're relatable to you. They're not necessarily relatable to me. And we're all different people. We all have different tastes. We all have different backgrounds, upbringings, um, religions, um, experiences in life. You know, we're all different. And so what you find relatable, I'm not going to find relatable necessarily. And, you know, I'm not going to expect my friends to find the same things relatable that I like because we're all different. <laughs> so I already know it's going to be a weak argument when someone says, Marvel's characters are more relatable than DC's, therefore, mic drop. Doesn't work that way. And likewise, you can't say it for DC either. Um, personally, on, on my level, 
I find Batgirl super relatable and that's why I get really emotionally charged over Barbara Gordon but I find aspects of her character really um really strong and really you know powerful and I identify with that so I find her relatable there are other characters out there that I certainly don't find relatable and therefore I'm not going to turn around and say DC's got way more real characters and they're you know they shit all over Marvel it doesn't work that way um so I don't know it's just a pet peeve of mine I see this argument all the time on the internet and people put it out there like it's a fact like it's science you can't put statements out there like that guys like Fair enough you can have your opinion and you can say that you know tell me tell me actually below what characters you find relatable because I find it fascinating and I actually think it's a really good conversation to have but the moment you start telling me that a company is better than another company like everyone has to believe it or subscribe to your way of thinking just because of that I think that that's a real cop-out and I think that that's um not a very well thought through argument that's really all I wanted to talk about. <laughs> it sounds like a very ranty video, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just have issues when journalists um, put out pieces of, um, put out articles like that, just blatantly telling the world how it is when really it's just their opinion. And you know what? If you put it out there as an opinion piece, I would have been totally cool with it. But please don't educate the world that, you know, one business is better than the other. Uh, just because you find something better than others. Um, I don't even know if this video makes sense. I'll still put it up. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, tell me what character you actually do find relatable though, because that is a really cool conversation to have. Um, yeah, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to my video, then you should, and uh, you'll get to see more angry, nerdy rants like this from time to time. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good day.